My name is Amir Remington. I completed a quality improvement pilot project in an adult acute care hospital setting for my DMP capstone project. They focus on for prevention by utilizing the quality toolkit. So tips stand for tailor for patient safety. Evidence shows that poor are the most common preventable inpatient accident and about one third of all four can be prevented if, if the correct measures are implemented and step are adequately trained. Evidence also suggests that communication problems and deficiency in individualized and patient care plan contribute to patient fall and patient engagement is key to fall prevention. Uh, so a priority program was developed at Partners Healthcare in Boston, Massachusetts by an interdisciplinary team that was led by nurses. Uh, Faulty is an evidence-based fall prevention intervention and has been shown to reduce the hospital fall rate more than 25% by improving communication. So the purpose of this project was to increase the step knowledge and competence of the faulty intervention at the step education and implementation of faulty toolkit. The purpose of this project was to utilize the faulty posture as educational tool for patient and a communication tool between uh, RNs, CNAs, and other bedside caregivers. Uh, the project was conducted on a, a 36-bed medical surgical unit at Signal Hospital in New Bedford, Massachusetts. They provided care for patients who had spinal and brain surgery, brain tumor, stroke, seizure, and neuromuscular diagnosis. A convenient sample of 58 nurses and CNA on the pilot unit uh, educated on the full tip toolkit using an uh, e-educational method. And the full tip project was implemented in a pilot unit for a four-week duration after the education. A Qualtrics survey web model was used for the data collection. A pre- and post-test design was used to determine step knowledge attainment. Other were done by champion to evaluate the uh, nursing competence and compliance uh, pattern and rate. The post forty post implementation survey was uh, done to analyze for frequency and mode. Demographic information on education level, length of profession, job type by typical work schedule, usual work shift and position analyzed for frequency and mean to describe the population sample. And the uh, result indicate the using an e-education method was an effective way to increase step knowledge. And the uh, unit staff were able to demonstrate their competence and compliance after the education and implementation of four tips. Uh, and also the step of the poster was a beneficial in conclusion, so even though this project showed a statistically significant increase in STEM knowledge and competency, this project was a quality improvement project without a control group or manipulation of the independent variable. As a result, there is not enough evidence that the intervention is the only the outcome. So therefore, I I really love to do more research in this area to see the effect of the Forty two kid on full rate and over a longer period of time with a larger random sample in the future. Thank you.